At a height of 3,883 meters, Zermatt is the highest ski resort in Switzerland. Guaranteed snow 365 days a year. I will be exploring this cozy Swiss mountain village together with my brother Hugo and show you the 24 best things you can do here in Zermatt, including cheese fondue inside of an igloo, soup out of high heels, famous Swiss raclette, the best slopes, the historic old town, the Zermatt nightlife, and how to survive Switzerland on a budget. Next Niklaus. Zermatt is car free. Only tiny electric taxis are allowed, which makes for perfect air quality. Many hotels offer free electric taxi pickups from the station. Even the cops have these funny electric buggies. But if you rather prefer something classy, you can always jump into one of Zermatt's many fairy tale drug carriages. Zermatt is all about luxury. Now we've been here for only a few minutes, but there's something very magical about this village. Beautiful buildings, architecture, it's, it's so cozy. And no traffic noises it's so quiet you don't even want to speak loud for a good place to start in Zermatt is walking up the Riedbeck street for the best viewpoint of the Matterhorn now the cool thing in Zermatt is you can actually ski into Italy and back into Switzerland it's one of the most unique features here in Zermatt getting to see the Matterhorn once in a lifetime is an absolute must for its iconic shape with a height of 4478 meters the best thing to do next is to rent all your ski and snowboard gear in the village. There is plenty of selection. A ski or snowboard rental package starts at 65 Swiss francs, 65 US dollars. Plus a daily ski pass for the entire Zermatt region will set you back 79 Swiss francs. Good morning, good morning. Ready to take on the Gornegrat? <laughs> you get to travel with the highest altitude cockwheel railway in Europe through mountain forests to the peak of the Gornegrat, taking about 33 minutes. Once you reach the peak of the Gornegrat, you will be surrounded by 29 peaks over 4,000 meters high, making it one of Switzerland's top tourist destinations, including the highest mountain in Switzerland, the Mont Rosa Massif, and the highest hotel in Switzerland, the Kulm Hotel. The views from here are absolutely stunning. Wow, look at that glacier. And it's not even cold. These are perfect snowboarding temperatures. How do you like these views, buddy? Mm, I love it, man. It's beautiful. With over 53 ski lifts, you can easily transfer between mountains and even countries. The Gornegrad has many blue runs for intermediate skiers and snowboarders, but also plenty of red and black runs, which can truly be challenging. Alternatively, consider the Rothorn as well. According to the locals, the Rothorn offers the best views of the Matterhorn from the Blue Lounge. Beer. Halfway the Gornegrad, you will find the Riffelberg Buffet. Time for lunch. Lunch time. Erdinger time, you go. Oh. Chicken fries. Chicken fries. Uh, and a bratwurst with rusty swibble sauce. Swibble sauce? Swibble sauce. Delicious. Bratwurst with swibble sauce. Switzerland is also known for its fun opera ski parties after a long day on the slopes. Servo is one of the most popular spots in town where you can often enjoy some live music. And sip on hot cafe lutz, thin coffee with snaps. Now, the most exceptional event in Zermatt is by far Swiss cheese fondue on top of a mountain inside of an igloo village. Why don't you bring any gloves? Right. It's freezing out here. 
I didn't know nothing about this. <laughs> Since my brother and I weren't sure what to expect, we went up with regular shoes and jeans. Like absolute morons. Before the fondue feast, you'll be treated first with a boiling hot cup of mulled red wine. Oh, so hot, oh, but delightful. Nice, yeah, the nice one. A yummy. <laughs> fondue time. Are you hungry, Hugo? Yep, I am. Let's oh, cheese it up. Pure heaven. Now the best thing about eating cheese fondue in freezing temperatures is you can eat it right away because the outer layer freezes up so you don't burn your mouth. She said I think I remember the film as I recall I think we both got a lot This Swiss cheese fondue adventure will set you back 70 Swiss francs per person. Isn't it the best thing ever? It's pretty tasty. Doesn't uh, make it worth it come here every Thursday? It sure does. Fondue like no other. <laughs> <laughs> now they rebuild these igloos every single year because they melt down during the summertime. Constructing them is really fun actually. They blow up a massive balloon and cover it with snow and ice and then they pop the balloon and then you got your own igloo. Extremely easy actually. The Igloodorf is a hotel of ice tunnels connecting all the igloo rooms protecting it against the wind and bad weather. It's not that cold in here. It's actually really nice. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, the hotel rooms include beautiful ice sculptures. There is even a romantic suite complete with a jacuzzi, a private toilet and a sauna. All inside a giant custom-built igloo. Ah, that's a crazy entrance. Amazing. Afterwards, make sure to run off all those extra calories from all that delicious cheese fondue. Ice, ice, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Dude! Oi, oi! Oh! You have no ski jacket, no ski pants, no ski boots. You're one madman. Now, if cheese fondue in freezing igloos on top of the Alps isn't your thing, venture out to Dupont restaurant instead. For another famous dish in Switzerland, raclette. Wow! It's the oldest restaurant in Zermatt. So basically, it's just heated cheese with potatoes and a pickle. When it's almost burnt, it's even better. Raclette is definitely one of my favorite dishes here in Europe. So delicious, we ended up ordering seconds. Just eight Swiss francs, eight US dollars per portion. Silence of the lambs. <laughs> <laughs> a visit to the Matterhorn Museum is a must for every visitor to Zermatt. Under this glass dome next to the church, called Zermatt Lantis, immersed in the mountain, a world of past generations. Their most famous exhibit, this broken rope from the first ascent of the Matterhorn in 1865, which caused four of the seven mountaineers to die. Other interesting exhibits include this mountaineering shoe shop. Is that your new shoe, uh, Hugo? You know what to say about people with big feet, right? Yeah, small anus. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. Next door, you will find the beautiful St. Mauritius Church. And this is the old village of Zermatt. The highlight is the Hinnedorf street, where you will find 30 elevated barns, stables and storage barns. The old village is so pretty. I mean, look at all these buildings. They used to have pigs in here, dating back from the 16th century. This is so authentic. Built between the 15th and 19th century in the original Walser style, you may have noticed these flat round blocks. Those blocks are meant to keep rodents out from the grain storage barns. As you can see, it's snowing like crazy today. I mean, look at the amount of snow accumulated on this roof. Oh. <laughs> Once you reach the end of the street, you'll see the most iconic view here in Zermatt. The Matthorn, which you may know from the Toblerone chocolate bar. That's this mountain, the Matthorn. These are all the peaks, Matthorn peaks. Good stuff. 
All right, time for some beer at the Zermatt Beer Brewery. Zermatt even has its own beer brewery. So yeah, they got four flavors here. Mondrosa, <laughs> Matahorum. Four flavors for each season. Of course, made from the incredible fresh Matahorum mountain water. Cheers, Zermatt beer. <laughs> Taste of the mountains. No trip to Zermatt is complete without going up the Matterhorn to the highest viewing platform in Europe at 3883 meters, almost 4 kilometers above sea level, making this also Europe's highest cable car station, while being surrounded by 38 alpine giants within Italy, France and Switzerland. So long, brother. So long, brother. Mata Horn. The Mata Horn offers guaranteed snow 365 days a year, which you can find only here in Zermatt. A mind boggling 300 inches of snow fall here annually, and with 360 kilometers of slopes, making it the ideal winter sport resort in Europe. A fun fact, the Matahorn Ski Pass is an international one, offering unlimited skiing and snowboarding between Switzerland and Italy, which is unique to Zermatt. Upper ski places are found everywhere. Complete your Matahorn run at Hennustal for the most famous upper ski party in Zermatt. Now you may be used to paid parking in your hometown. Here in Zermatt they have paid parking for skis. So you just store your skis here overnight, you have like a FOP or a swipe card, pick them up tomorrow morning before you go up the mountain again. Okay, after burning even more calories on the Matterhorn, it is time to hunt for a unique Swiss dinner. All right guys, we're now at J. Heini. It's one of the most interesting restaurants here in Zermatt. Apparently, they have some really interesting menu items. J. Heini is a local authentic restaurant great for dinner. Classy, cozy, but above all, extremely fun. From a bizarre menu but had gang sex. Oh, right. to a very odd way of serving soup. Soup in a high heel. <laughs> Their signature dish, juicy medium rare lamb chops. Oh yeah, that's a nice fat piece. Wow, that's medium rare. Lamp, medium rare lamp. Wow, it looks amazing. I should, I should work here. The best thing about the lamp chops is the sauce. That these creamy local sauces which you smear on the lamp chop to give it so much more flavor. Now to top off this experience, I have this crazy local dessert. It's basically cotton candy. Shea Heine definitely stood out. After finishing dinner, my brother and I were in the mood for a couple of drinks and some music. Harry's Bar is a great place to kick off the night. Then head down to the tiniest bar in Zermatt, called Little Bar. So, a bit of drink. That's is little. The best party in Zermatt can be found at Hotel Post, the biggest multi-story party complex in town, including the factory on the main floor, <laughs> which often offers fantastic live music and a friendly international crowd. To a gigantic nightclub in the basement called Broken Bar, where you can dance the night away. A beer at this phenomenal place will set you back six Swiss francs, around six US dollars. Zermatt is a luxury resort, thus finding accommodation can be a bit pricey. For a good mid-level hotel, I recommend the Alpen Resort Hotel. Known for having beautiful rooms with panorama views of the Matterhorn. Wow, even the bathroom looks amazing. The bathtub, all the finishes. Quite the finishes here. These hotel rooms even have their own mini bar. Check it out. Open Resort also has a ton of amenities to pamper yourself after a long day on the slopes, including a large pool with strong massage jets, a finished sauna, hot tub, a fully decked out gym, 
and a massive games room in the basement. As you can tell, you cannot go wrong with this place. Come early in the morning and you'll have the entire pool facilities all to yourself. As you can see, there's absolutely no one in the pool. Except for my brother. <laughs> but yeah, this place is great after a long day on the slopes when you really need to relax with those sore muscles. Now, Zermatt is very expensive. The best tip is buying all your food at the Migros supermarket. Now, at the Migros, they have a budget brand, their own budget brand. It's called Migros Budget. Search for these signs and guaranteed you will get good prices. These Migros budget products are priced significantly less than their counterparts. Let's review some of these prices. Apple chocolate bars will set you back. 450 the budget version only 180 pretty good deal 170 for pringles look-alike chili chips just look at these prices for chocolate bars 50 cents us that's crazy the sandwich and this drink cost me around three swiss francs and my brother here has a sandwich and a drink which is more than seven so that's more than double so make sure you look out for those m budget logos in the micros if you are on a serious budget and trust me you'll be able to survive switzerland pretty good for a budget sandwich and they stuffed it nicely with salami cheese and pickles you can get to zermatt by panorama train from either geneva or zurich airports the train ride takes about three and a half hours these three and a half hours are certainly not a punishment since you will be treated with some of the most scenic views of the swiss alps train tickets in switzerland can be very pricey but save yourself even more money by purchasing the Swiss Travel Pass. For instance, a regular train ticket from Zurich to Zermatt is already 125 Swiss francs one way. And knowing that the Swiss Travel Pass starts at 280 Swiss francs, you can easily calculate out your savings. In conclusion, spending two to three nights in Zermatt at the very least is a must. There is just so much to do. For more information regarding tips and discounts, navigate to reformat.com, on which you also find a very handy map with all the locations I mentioned in this video, plus 200 photos. Rond je bek niet. You're one madman! Mad <laughs> Oh! Kijk naar uit, breek je been niet!